Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I am back again with a brand new Stardew Valley modding related video for you guys. Today we're delving into some household furniture mods. Truly like I love household furniture mods. Something that I don't really feel like it's spoken enough about them but I think that they're super cool and super neat and while it's not something that you see consistently like you would like a map recolor or an expansion mod for instance it still can help add some character into your Stardew Valley gameplay. But before we get into the video if you're a big lover of all things Stardew Valley and modding related things make sure to hit that subscribe button and additionally let me know in the comments below what kind of modding related content you would like to see on the channel. Before we get into it as always all of these mods are downloadable through Nexus mods and of course they require you to have some base mods before you can install these but all of that information is on the page there and as always I will leave a timestamp and a links below for all of the mods that we'll be discussing today. So I've kind of split them up into two categories it's kind of all furniture mods but I did want to leave it as furniture mods and then as plant mods for something for our little plant lovers so if you kind of just want plants only and not really delve into the furniture mods then I recommend heading over to the plants bit but however a lot of these furniture mods do also have plants in them so make sure to keep an eye on them but anyway let's just get straight on into this one starting us off with the furniture mod aspect we have our first mod which is Ribbonane's Mint Kisses Furniture so this is a mint colored themed furniture mod it is a super cute mod and as it sounds like it it just recolors all of the base furniture that you get in the house to this really cute mint color it's such a nice color and especially if you're going for a sort of like pastel even a fairy cool kind of vibe this one is definitely one up the alley but anything sort of on the cutesy side I would definitely recommend this one for especially if you kind of like a theme and you can get some really nice wallpapers and floorings to match this furniture. Second on our list we have the seaside interior mod. This is one is like a kind of a little fave of mine. So this is all nautical and fishing themed furniture. There is lots of wall decorations which I think look incredible. I love the shelves, the little signs the paintings even the little fish and additionally you get some furnitures and some different recolors and some very like fisherman themed style stuff i really love this one i think it'll be perfect for a beach farm and it really does give a cool little edge to it definitely like a little hidden treasure mod i feel coming up next on the list we have the blue wood furniture mod so this one adds in 25 new furniture items to the game it adds in at least one of each type of different furniture and it's all done in this blue and black look that is just so classy as it says, it's a very chic and classy sort of look, very like minimalistic blues and black colors. And I love how it looks. Definitely a really nice mod if you're wanting to tone down the sort of colors of the main game. Coming in next, my personal favorite and the one that you see in a lot of my videos is this industrial furniture set mod. This is like by far one of my favorite mods. So this includes 170 plus pieces of furniture with matching double beds and cribs. And it is just, it's such a good mod. I love how the furniture looks. I love the things that it changes like the original Stardew furniture too. I think it just makes it look so much nicer. I can't even describe how much I love this mod. It's definitely like my base always go to comfort furniture mod I feel so definitely have to introduce it to the world of you guys because I know you guys will love it. Coming in next another really cute favorite of mine we have the Sweetheart Furniture Set. So this is another super cute sweet pastel pink and white themed furniture pack for your house. It has this froggy and that's kind of all I need to say but all of the furniture here is just super super cute super pink pastel themed really great for a fairy core island or again a super like cutesy pink themed. I love how it looks I love the little like kinds of furniture that you get with it and I just I'm obsessed so cute so cute. Up next on the list we have the adorable cottage bathroom and furniture mod. This is a bathroom set including furniture and walls and flooring and it also gives you the option to replace the spouse's room with a bathroom instead. I love how this looks. It's a really cute mod, especially because we don't really get like a bathroom in our house. So I kind of like the fact that we can now make one. You can recolor objects to match the theme of your house, other furniture, and even like your retexture mods in the game. And I think it's just a really cute nifty mod, especially for us cottagecore besties, or even if you're just going for like a muted down theme. Up next, we have the pretty pink furniture recolor. Again, if you're a fan of all things pink or you're going for a sort of fairy core themed island, this one's for you. So it is just a little collection of recolored pink themed furniture. I love how it looks while it's like in your face pink. It's not like too over the top. It's a little subtle and I love that about it. I love how the different furniture options look and the shades of pink you can get. I think overall, if you're going for a pink theme but kind of just like the base furniture, then this is 100% the mod for you. So coming up next, we have a really cool hidden mod. We have 
this Stardew Furniture mod. This one is really nifty because essentially it gives you a bunch of furniture from the base game that isn't actually normally placeable. So for instance, if you ever go into an NPC's house and look around and were like, you want the stuff that they have, this mod allows that to be true. It adds in 340 individual furniture items, including paintings, decorations, tables, and more for you to use to decorate your farm. This is super, super cool because there's a lot of really cool furniture and like items in Stardew Valley in general. And the fact that we can't even use them in our own house is just a little sad. So now, now we can. I love the idea of this mod and this is just like something so genius. Up next on our list of incredible household furniture mods, we have the Barfy Scorpion Furniture Mod. This is a really, really cool mod. Again, a sort of like pink or blue with white textures to it. Very, very good for something like a fairy core island or like a pastel sort of vibe to it. I love how it looks. I love how you can change the entire feel with just one color. There are some wallpapers and floorings that go along with this mod as well, which is really great in just overall customizing the look of your house. Another huge favorite, I've definitely leaned more towards the pink side than the blue sides but I think that the blue side on this one is kind of changing it for me. I just love how they all look. Coming in next on the list of these mods we have the casual furniture set mod. This is a furniture pack that includes cute and pastel pieces made to match with other existing furniture sets as well. I am actually so obsessed with this mod that I really want to download it and use it in my next big playthrough. It's so cute it's got a little bit of like smaller hints and like it's got some tiny little small like anime related hints but overall it's just a really cute open, not overly in your face pink, kind of like rustic pink I'd say vibe to it. Absolutely obsessed with how this looks and how it all came together in some of the houses and I think overall it's just a really nice subtle like anime-ish mod but just like a nice subtle pink mod. Coming up next on the list a really really nifty one we have the antique plasma tv mod. So this is just a really cool alt textures mod that changes the look of the plasma tv into an antique looking one. I love how the little box tv looks but I do like having something a little bit more modern and this this one kind of just lets me have a bit of both. I love how it looks as a light and a dark version and they can really change the whole vibe of the house and aesthetic that you're going for. I love the small little features of like the plants and the books around it and overall it's just a very neat mod. Coming in next another one that's really caught my eye and I'm really considering downloading is the Loon's Offerings mod. So this is a cohesive set of witchy furniture and decoration items that you can add into your game. These are some super cute looking ones. It is a nice toned down feature to it as well. Even even to things like the windows look absolutely incredible. The little things like potions, books, cauldrons, shelves and everything that you could add into this game really help with that sort of witchy vibe to it. I would highly recommend this one if you're sort of going for a sort of a witchy core island but also if you're going for a cottage core themed island. Maybe the cauldron might not be the best to have for like a cottage core themed island but a lot of these features just look really super nice and just a, this incredible toned down shade to it. Overall a really really good mod and again you might see it in some playthroughs I'm considering it I haven't made some final decisions yet but it's up there. Coming up next we have the Star Amy's Fairy Tale Furniture mod. This is a really cute mod and it adds in a small number of magical and fairy tale themed furniture pieces throughout the game. Stuff like a fairy door, frog pins, a cauldron, spell book and more. Absolutely love how this one looks. The animations on it look super super incredible and I think the whole vibe that they give off for this one is just absolutely incredible. I truly love how this one looks. Coming in next on the list we have the Nano's Retro Style Furniture mod. Again there's like maybe three or four mods that I'm like hard choosing between for my next big playthrough which will be coming out soon and this is so high on the list as well so it gives you a set of retro style furniture in the game the range of furniture for this one is quite extensive including things like cabinets rugs tables and chairs floor to ceiling windows wall decorations plants and so much more i am like truly obsessed with how this one looks i love the sort of a style aesthetic to go with it the different things that you can use to change up how it all looks and how you can get it to fit in with your kind of aesthetic there's so many different versions of stuff like coffee tables, bookcases, dresses, different types of chairs and tables. It's just absolutely incredible. The customization for this mod in particular is insane and I super recommend it if you kind of like the vibe but you really can't settle on one thing because a lot of these previous mods do only have like one furniture option so it's kind of nice that we can kind of mix and match and choose. Truly an incredible mod and I love how this one looks. And lastly on our list for the furniture kind of mods we have the Boho Home Interior mod. So this mod adds in some boho flair to the farmhouse and includes stuff like the kitchen, bed and fireplace. 
I love how the bed looks. It's so good. The kitchen looks incredible and I just overall am obsessed with how this like kind of vibe looks in the game. I'm a sucker for anything boho industrial truly so I'm super obsessed with how this one looks and I think will make a great addition to the game and it does also really go down with the like muted down tones and even like a darker tone to it too. Well that was it for all of our furniture mods. We have got a few to go through for our little plant related mods for all of my plant besties. So starting us off strong we have the wooden flower boxes for summer mod. This essentially lets you add in colorful flower boxes that you can place in your farmhouse. You can place them inside, outside, in the greenhouse, anywhere you wish. And they're just like these really cute flower boxes, different kind of flower variations, different colors and everything to really like help bring some greenery into your farmhouse. Up next, we have the flower power furniture mod. So this mod adds in vibrant flower decorations as well as some furniture that you can pop into your game. While a lot of these items are probably more for your outside area, you can definitely use some of these inside just to really bring, again, some greenery into your house or a little bit of spice. And it truly works if you're going for like an overgrown, very much like a plant vibe. I think even the ones that should be outside will work inside for you. I just love plants and I love these plant mods. Coming in next, we have the ornamental garden furniture mod. I feel like this is going to be a theme with all of the plant mods. They are probably mainly for outside, but you can make them inside and really use these decorations to your advantage to bring a particular vibe to life but I love how this one looks there's fountains there's statues there's a little like pond there's so many different kind of flowers and flower beds and everything and I just think it looks so cool it can really help bring sort of like a magical flower garden vibe to life or if you want to have it in your room really making like a bedroom overgrown flowery and magical I love how it looks I love how they all work together and I think it is a really cool mod coming in next a nice simple one we have the decorative bushes mod so this essentially adds the bush bushes as furniture to let you use them as decorative pieces. And when I say bushes, these are all of the bushes that you will find out in the wild in your base game. So it gives you the berry bush, medium bush, big bush, small bush, and island bush. And they're all seasonal or have seasonal alternate textures. Additionally, the berry bush will sprout berries during the usual berry seasons in spring and fall, which is really cool if you're wanting to make some extra berries. And overall, I love the bushes in the game, but I love that we can now put them where we want and in more customizable spaces. A super, super neat mod. Almost at the end, coming in next, we have Star Amy's Decorative Inset Wall Shelves mod. So this one adds in a number of decorative wall shelves in various sizes, shapes, and lighting schemes. Primarily, a lot of these are very planty related, but not all of them. So definitely is really good to get a particular different kind of vibe again going. Through all of my times in all of these decorating games, I found out that while you might have the coolest furniture around, putting stuff on the walls does help bring it together. And this mod allows you to get some extra decorations on the wall. A very, very cool and neat mod. And it Coming in for our last spot on this list, another personal favorite, we have the Fairy Garden Decorations mod. So this one adds in a set of cute fairy themed garden decorations to your game. These are super, super cute. Again, it primarily can be placed outside, but you can make this super cute overgrown flowery fairy area in your house. I love even like how the table looks. There's just so many different options that you can do. You can get a table and some chairs into your house. You can get this really cute flower bed with the partition wall into your your house like there's just limitless options i love how this one looks and again it's something rated very highly on my list i feel well that is all for our best household furniture mods for you guys today as always if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and drop a comment below letting me know which one was your favorite mod of the list and maybe let me know some of the other mods you would have popped in here maybe if i didn't mention your favorite let me know in the comments below and as always don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i will catch all of you guys on my next video bye everybody